Hey y'all, hey. Happy Tuesday. Today is October the 9th. It is about 8.16. Hopefully this video goes up for you guys. Uh, it's been so rainy here and our internet has been acting a plum fool. But I want to first start off by apologizing to Mr. Jerron Lemkin. I hope I'm saying his name right. He is a great supporter. And I missed his birthday. It was last Tuesday. I was thinking it was today. So happy, happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I hope it was filled with all your blessings and wishes you could have ever dreamed of. Thank you so much for being an amazing supporter of my channel and many others. And I just want to come on and say I'm sorry I missed your birthday. You told me, you told me, and I have been sick. I have had, <coughs> excuse me, I have had a lot of things going on. So, um, I'm sorry I missed your birthday. And I love you for all the wonderful support you give me and everybody else. You are amazing. Okay. And so, um, I took you guys to the doctor with me yesterday. That lady was getting a little snappy with me, gonna tell me on the low that I ain't get healthy like this by doing nothing. Girl, you don't know me. Don't come for me. But I got my breakfast in a cup. I got almond milk, uh -uh, unsweetened almond milk, um, unsweetened, what is it? Plain Greek yogurt. Um, half a spoon, teaspoon of, of peanut butter and strawberries. So I got a and protein shake, protein powder. So I got a peanut butter and jelly protein shake. It is, uh, I believe all together is less than a hundred calories. So that is breakfast. Um, yesterday they gave me like this big binder. So if you are considering surgery. You might or might not get this binder. And it tells you, I just got my address on it, so I'm gonna move that. But it tells you um, the introduction, the vertical sleeve, gastric sleeve, um, protein shake recipes, exercise boot camp, all the vitamins you will need. Um, pre-op and post-op surgery instructions y'all it's got a lot of information in this little bitty binder but um just when i thought i had it all figured out me and my doctor discussed what would be best for me but she's not a surgeon so on the surgeon standpoint she really thinks that the um vertical sleeve will be better for me and i kind of just looked at the dual switch and the uh ruin y which is the one that we discussed and i kind of stuck all my eggs in that basket and then when i went yesterday she was saying like the dual switch and the vertical sleeve would be better fits for me so the vertical sleeve is let's see if they got a picture um okay so hmm your stomach is like this big and they cut just this part so you have this part and this big bulge just over here well they she said that they won't even take it out but it won't won't nothing go to the big bulge part if that makes sense if y'all got a visual um i've heard a lot of things about the room why whereas you can get around certain things and i'm not trying to get around certain things and the reason why i did not pick the switch is because um of the dumping syndrome where you and um the fact that you lose so much weight in such a small amount of time i i was trying to gradually do it like i'm doing now but with some more help and so she said because I'm still on the heavier side than most people. Most people are like 300 and under, which I don't even think I would have needed the surgery at that weight, but um, some people do. That this would be a better fit for my age, my health history, and just the overall better 
better for me. Now I am back to doing research because just because the surgeon says I like to take the advice of people that have been doing things for years. Here I come just, oh, I'm going to have weight loss surgery. They're going to give me a tool and I'm going to use it to the best of my ability. Whichever one they give me, I'm going to take it. That's when I went into it. But then I'm like, this is my life. I need to know what I'm getting into and if I'm prepared and ready for it. So I have done a lot of research and the more research you do, you still have not done enough research. So here I am finding myself starting all over again and looking into the vertical sleeve, which is what she wants to do. She's gonna put in for the room wide, but she's, I mean, not the room wide, the, um, the DS, the dual switch. And if she needs to go back in and relocate my, she's just gonna do the um, vertical sleeve part, but if she needs to relocate my intestines because I'm not losing weight to her standards or mine's or whatever, I'll already have the clearance and she'll just go back in and redo the um, remove ooh, the switching of the intestines in a year and a half from now. So that won't happen now. Now I had a date which I don't understand how I had a date of um, November, I mean December the 19th when I don't have insurance current. So I put in for um, December the 23rd because I wanted my mom to be there. And first of all, they sent me this paperwork Thursday. I went Friday to the doctor and they said, oh, we got everything again. But then when I went yesterday, they gave me another paper like this. It says what's complete and what's needed. And pretty much everything still hadn't been completed from for their standards. So now I have to go back. I know I did not have a pulmonary um, evaluation to make sure that my heart can withstand surgery. So yeah, everything, only thing on this one that they sent Thursday that wasn't complete was the M, and I completed that Thursday when I got the paperwork, but nothing else has been checked off on here, so my doctor is slipping. Slipping, slipping, slipping. So anywho, like, I can do the, um try again today because I tried to do the, I think it's Emmy, E-M-M-E -M -M -E computer uh, tutorial. I can go live this evening if people in the comments say that they would like to see some of it because it is lengthy. It's like 30 minutes for the dual and 30 minutes for the vertical sleeve. It gives you information. It tells you what to expect. Um, it's just another form of information. If you guys want to see see that just to give you some idea if you're considering weight loss surgery know somebody considering it or whatever I can definitely go live try to go live because I tried to go last night and it did not work so I could definitely try again it's not raining as much as it was yesterday and maybe the internet will let me upload this video because it took forever. Like, as soon as I got home from the doctor yesterday, I tried to upload the video from the doctor. And y'all see how late that went up. So, hopefully this does not take that long to go up. And if I do, um, the M Emmy uh, tutorial, it will let me go live. I will not be talking through that video if you have comments leave them down below and i can try to answer them as the, to the best of my ability but today we have a doctor's appointment with my doctor so we're gonna take this big old binder so next time she have a patient that want to have surgery um she'll have the information to offer them ahead of time um to where is what the type of insurance i have required and some of the things because i would ask her what was the liquid diet well i got that yesterday and so far i've been trying it on and off for the last month and a half on my own but i know now specifically what it is that they 
ask for. If you want to know that, I can do a short little run through of the binder and the pre-op and post-op surgery instructions. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you're interested in and knowing. Um, but today we have a doctor's appointment. I already know I did not gain any weight, but I only lost one pound, which is not surprising because I have not been working out and I have not been eating the best. Like, I'm not going to come on here and be like, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I have not. I don't like food, so I haven't been, like, overdoing it, but I haven't been doing what I used to do which is putting my all into it because I got so much going on, but that is not an excuse. Got to get back on the horse. So that's what I'm doing. And um, this is not as bad as it was when I was doing the kale and water. Now that she said almond milk was okay to have, it gives it, it don't make it better, but I mean like, Oh my God, a big difference, but it does help a lot as opposed to fruit with water. It was disgusting. But I scarfed it down, and this will be breakfast, and I probably will do another one with mango without peanut butter, just mango, almond milk, um, protein powder. Did I say it? A scoop of Greek yogurt, and you blend that, and then you add ice to it to give it the consistency you like, like a smoothie type deal. So, I'ma FaceTime y'all when we get to the doctor. Put your shoes on, cause it's almost time to go. Oh, I'm late. Put your shoes on, get yourself together, cause I'm already late. I supposed to be there in 30 minutes. So, I'll see y'all at the doctor. I'ma FaceTime y'all, so pick up.